Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe. Click that notification bell and come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. Our devotions are coming from Joyce Meyer's book called Trusting God Day by Day and it is Thursday, May the 18th. And our devotion is entitled Your Plans or God's plans. Our scripture comes from the book of Proverbs 16. I was just reading this a couple of days ago. A man's mind plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps and makes them sure. I always ask the Lord to order my steps every day and lead me and help me sort things out because I don't know if I have a touch of attention deficit, but my brain can be a hundred miles in five different directions and I really need to focus in and get some tasks finished and so it's really pivotal for me to, to be organized and to have a plan in place for the day because <laughs> I don't want anything falling through the cracks you know and so I, I love this that the Lord directs his steps and makes them sure let's read how Joyce expounds on this we must learn to wait for God's plans to develop he perfects everything that concerns us. True boldness moves in God's timing. It moves at the right time. See, I can be a little impatient. I have a tendency to kind of take matters into my own hands. I'm learning to wait and trust the Lord because I really have begun to realize it's, it's pointless to try to make it happen. That's leaning on my own understanding instead of trusting Him. So... During the three years of Jesus' earthly ministry, people thought he was crazy. His own brothers were embarrassed by him, and in an effort to save the reputation, they told him he needed to go somewhere else and do his works. If he was unwilling to do that, they had another option for him. They told him to take action and stop doing his works in, se and, and stop doing his works in secret. They tried to convince him it was time to show himself and the people Oh, it's time to show himself. I got, I missed my place. Sorry. They tried to convince him it was time to show himself and his works to the world. In other words, they wanted Jesus to impress the people with what he could do. That means they knew what he could do. He responded to them by saying, my time has not come yet. John 7, 6. How many of us could show that type of self-control? If you could do the miracles that he could do, and were being made fun of and challenged to show your stuff, what would you do? See, I know me. I would be like, oh yeah, well look at this, you know. I would be, I would be all about saying, shut your mouth because look what I can do. Not necessarily to be a show off, but just to shut their mouths, you know. Like I said, I, I still have a lot of work that needs to be done on me, God help me. Would you wait until you absolutely knew that it was the right time or would you take action that was not sanctioned by God? See, if I'm brutally honest, I would probably do the latter just in my own impatience. And I know that I need God to help me with that. It is good to have plans and I believe we should plan boldly and aggressively. But we must be wise enough to know that our plans will ultimately fail without God. Commit your way to the Lord and you will, your plans will succeed. That's in Proverbs. I just read it. It's either 16 or 17. It was like yesterday or the day before when I read that. God's word says, except the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who built it. Psalm 127, 1. We can build without God as our foundation, but like anything, like any building without a strong foundation, we will eventually fail. So I think what we can take away from this is make sure that you're being led by the Lord. I know a lot of people think that involves just sitting back and just waiting for something to fall into your lap without taking action. That's the opposite could not be more true. God wants us to take action. He's given us gifts. He's given us giftings and abilities. I can't talk today. It must be the grandeur of all these beautiful roses behind me. Um, he wants us to take action and then trust him for the timing of the release of those things. 
You know, your house isn't going to clean itself. A book's not going to write itself. You know, those things are not going to be done without us taking some kind of action. Employers are not going to have your application unless you submit one. <laughs> Fill it out and submit it and trust that the Lord is going to do the rest. Whatever it is that God's leading you to do, make sure he's included in the plans. When I had left my previous employer in March of 2021, my, my plan was to have a job lined up before that ended. And the Lord told me, absolutely not. I want you to go now. So I was like, okay. And so then in the interim, I started going on to those job seeking sites and putting my name out there and started getting emails and I started filling out applications for different things and everything was running into a brick wall or it wasn't was leading me down rabbit trails, which was into jobs that are not in that I'm not interested in and that I didn't feel the anointing or the pull from the Lord to uh, to go into. I could have let a fear of no finances or no income from me lead me to be desperate to accept anything and everything just as soon as it was available. Would you work for $5 an hour? Yes. You know, you know how they do this. No, I wanted to wait until I received that okay in my spirit. And in December of 2021, a dear friend of mine from my previous employer, a colleague of mine who spoke live, and I've said this before, reached out to me out of the blue on Facebook Messenger and I says, oh, why is she reaching out to me? And she told me about this. Now, meanwhile, I've been praying, Lord, you show me the open opportunities. You show me those open doors so that I don't miss them, that I walk through. And as soon as she said, I have a job opportunity, I said, yes. I didn't even know what it was, but I knew. I heard the Lord say, that's it. And I took it and I'm working for this wonderful organization. And it's, it's unbelievable. But I, I committed my way to the Lord. I knew that he would take care of things and he took care of things in ways I could not imagine. I was blown away by what the Lord did. And I mean, my husband and I were able to pay off our house like four months early, which took a load off as far as, you know, monthly expenses, the mortgage. We were supposed to pay it off that fall and we paid it off in early summer. So we, you know, about four months early. And that was, it was just a, a, I was stunned. I just never expected that. And I thought, wow, thank you, Lord. Look what you did. Look what you did. That alleviated one huge stress off my mind because that's where I was feeling we would be hurt. If I wasn't working, we may not have enough to make the mortgage payment and live, have, you know, get gas for the car and groceries and all that. And the Lord made a way. And I was just like, wow, look at God. So it's important that whatever we're setting out to do, whatever idea we've come up with, it's likely God has stirred that idea up in you. But the timing and the release of the fulfillment of that idea is in the Lord's hands. It may not always be when you think it is. So our trust in him for today is, are you operating in your own timing or are you trusting God's timing? Trust God, his plans are always best. There are some prophetic words I've been standing on for the last three years that I learned about. Actually, I'd probably have to say four years because that's when I truly started putting together and hearing and seeing things and they haven't been fulfilled yet. But every day there's this anticipation in me prophetic words that I that have come from multiple prophetic sources I've never seen the prophetic in such perfect alignment such agreement from multiple different prophets all saying essentially the same thing and no they're not listening to each other and we haven't seen the fulfillment of it yet God is going to do it his timing is absolutely perfect and he will be the one that gets the glory which I love let's pray Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your perfect timing being executed in our life, Father, in whatever activity we are undertaking. Lord, help us to be sensitive to your Holy Spirit, to trust you and leave it into your hands. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear and hearts willing to obey and step out, Father. When you say it's go time, we want to go 
because we know when we trust our plans to you first, we cannot fail. We thank you, Lord, for your faithful promises and your word that we can stand on. Bless those, Father, who are listening to this. Let their hearts be encouraged and lifted to trust you in Jesus' name. Well, God bless you, and thank you again for stopping by my channel. I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Come check out some of the other content I have on my channel. I hope you're enjoying the garden view today. The roses are just prolific and I'm really loving it. One of my secrets is putting coffee grounds in um, giving the roses coffee grounds. I get profuse blooms when I do that. And so I'm, you know, I was doing that a little bit in the winter prior to the spring coming. So I'm thinking that might be why I've never seen that many roses. Never. So God is good and he's faithful. <laughs> You guys have a wonderful week. I hope you're having a wonderful week as we're coming up um, on uh, the weekend. I uh, hope it's been a good one for you. God bless you and bye until next time.